I was going to upload that video like 2 to 3 days ago, but then I decided it was way too pathetic. But today I just realized I have nothing better to do with my life. So here we go. I know what Coco should do with her life? So there is this new feature in Dolphin that is absolutely gorgeous. If we select a file and press F2 to rename it, then we can press tab and select and rename the next, and the next, and so on. And with shift and tab we can navigate and rename in reverse. We can also navigate and rename with arrows, but I can't figure out how it is supposed to work even if I read the bug report. Then again, the reason that even this was working is because I sorted the files by created date. If we sort by name for example, the files will change position while we're renaming them and the process will bug. That's almost fine though because KDE typically pushes features with bugs on main, and they're fixing them before their stable releases. But the reason I'm uploading this video isn't to show you the feature, but to show you how I got to the point I could test it, and this is a real story. So I'm tapping F10 that I know it is the new folder creation, and I'm typing the name. Going inside the folder, but I don't know the new file shortcut, so I'm opening the context menu. And every time I see the new HTML file item, I'm thinking how much a new Fortran file is missing. Welcome to the 60s! And this menu? Doesn't even support templates. Anyway, I'm creating a text file that for some reason it also adds a txt file in, and I rename it to new. Now, an experienced KDE user will make a copy of this file with the duplicate here control and D shortcut. Basically that won't duplicate the file. And I don't think there is any Linux file system like APFS that can support duplicates. Besides, the name says copy anyway, and each file will consume its own space on disk even if it's identical with the rest. But me, as an inexperienced Plasma user, I didn't use duplicate, but I used the old good copy and paste. So, Ctrl C, and Ctrl V, and let the parody begin. For start we're getting this retarded copy notification here and like isn't stupid enough already, we can also pause it. Then we go here, and it says to suggest a new name before we can continue. And if we click it it will add a number counter at the end. Even if we change the name to something that doesn't exist, the suggest button is enabled again and it will just add a counter up. But because the awful UX and the inconsistencies don't have an end, I will go with Dolphin's super suggestion so we can continue. And meanwhile we're getting yet another annoying notification that copy was completed, and we also have a link that is only useful if we want to see the dolphin cursor bouncing, since the location is obviously open. Now, let's grab both these files and copy paste them. And we still have our previous renaming window, with the suggest new name button. But this time there is also an apply to all action. Suggest new name will do the same as before and we can continue. But if we apply to all we can't suggest any name anymore, so what are we even apply I'm wondering? Typical plasma design, you only learn after it's too late. And what's even the difference between skip and cancel anyway? And if we continue it will automatically add the counters again, so all this drama for nothing much. And we still have our notification down there, thank you Mr. Obvious! In the meantime did you notice what's weird with the suggested names? When we copy and paste the files it adds a counter, but when we duplicate the files it actually says copy. Thank you Miss Consistency! I could go on, and go hard, but instead I will apply the girlfriend fighting rule. Fight as much as you want, but in the end, never go away and leave her unhappy. Unless you wanna go away for good. So I will finishing this with something super positive. You notice that everything looks a little bit bigger? Which is perfect for screencasting. I'm not sure how much of a new this feature actually is, but if we go to settings. Oh, but quick settings is definitely new. And anyway, on display configuration we have fractal scaling of 6.25, even on X server. Awesome?